Well, we're at a Days Inn, Columbus, Ohio. And uh, this puppy's expensive. Now, this was supposed to be a non-smoking room, but that light doesn't work. Yay! So we're gonna go ahead and check her out. Oh, not horrible. Not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some new sheets now. Well, we'll black light them anyhow. All right, well, we're gonna do this before they show up with the new clean sheets. Hey, you can still see it. Ooh. The chair's not warm. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. There's stuff over there too. And on the end table. And that chair. Yeah. Yeah, the bathroom's not horrible. Yeah, no. There's no coffee. Is the only TV works though. And oh, that's actually a really comfortable bed. They're gonna be here with the sheets shortly, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Top of the morning to you. It's six o'clock. Time to go. Yay. Okay, so they do have coffee and a little bit of breakfast. There's a waffle thing over there. So, and that's how you know you're in a good hotel when the cops come and show up every few hours to make a loop. Alright, so holes in the walls, right? Hey! Holes in the walls. We do have a safe though, in case you wanted to protect your belongings. There's a fridge. It does work. When I was down there getting coffee, I uh, found out that most of the people that actually stay here are, they live here. This, this is a long-term hotel for them. And I'm like, oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. So, I want you to imagine this. Think about you're standing in a trench, right? And you're standing over the top of it, and you're straddling it, but you kind of got your ankles bent and stuff. That's what taking the shower looks like. I'll show you. See the tub? Yeah, I know that it's always supposed to be like that, but I mean, literally, like, it is bad. Other than that, it's pretty decent. Didn't mind it at all. Good hot water, towels, eh, they suck, but it'd be all right. The wash rag, I'm pretty sure it was microfiber. I don't know if that was a clean rag that kind of got thrown in or what. Um, our net, doing good so far. I mean, this is definitely not a hundred dollar a night hotel, but it was. And I don't know if there's just something going on in the area. My normal hotel, it was like one forty. The Marriotts were like two thirty. I mean, it was outrageous for a Tuesday night. I don't know. I uh, did see some stuff blocked off on the Uber ride over here. Something maybe there might have been an event, and this was just the crappy hotel. I don't know. Hey, hey, how are you going? So, fun fact: I just got a call from Days In after I checked out. I always tell them about stuff, and I did say, mention something about having to get clean sheets and stuff because they were dirty. And they called me, and they actually offered me a discount. And said we're sorry for the inconvenience and all that good stuff. So. Anywho, talk to you later. All right. All right, so I've been debating about posting another video. The reason being is because they gave me a discount, but they didn't give me a discount because they knew that I was doing a hotel review or something. Um, they gave me a discount because it had dirty sheets that I had to deal with. Hey, uh, I'm probably going to post it, but with the caveat that they did give me a discount. So, all right. 
I'm gonna go into this next one. But uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be poopy sheets is the word. Later.